is the Imperial control bunker on the forest moon of Endor. We are under attack from rebels. They're coming out of the trees. They're going after the shield generator. Hello and welcome back to Wargames News Radio for a very special battle report where we are playing Star Wars Legion for the very first time here on the channel. We've got our pal Justin here who'll be commanding the Rebel Alliance in this Return of the Jedi themed battle report as they try to take on my nefarious Imperials and destroy the control bunker, paving the way for the attack on Death Star 2. It's a trap. Star Wars Legion is a tabletop war game set in, what else, the Star Wars universe. Players build an army out of their chosen faction to either recreate classic moments in Star Wars history or come up with brand new battles all of their own. At the beginning of a round, each player plays one command card. These cards allow you to issue orders to your units and can also have some fun special effects. Who goes first in each round is determined by the number of pips on the command card and the player with the lowest amount of pips on their card goes first. Once orders are issued, players take turns in alternating activations with their units. Any units that didn't get issued orders put their command tokens into a random pool, which the players can draw from instead of activating one of their units with a face-up order token. Every unit has its own stat card with all of its attacks, abilities, and defense stats on it, as well as some special rules which can help give you an advantage over the opponent. When units get into combat, they roll their attack dice. Each unit's weapon profile can be found on the bottom of its card. The attacker rolls their dice and counts up the amount of hits and criticals, and then the target unit rolls their defense dice to try to cancel some hits. Light cover like trees and bushes provide one point of damage reduction, while heavy cover like barricades and low walls provide two points of cover. Some units have special rules which can negate or improve cover, making the game move fast and furious when you get into combat. On top of damage, units also get suppressed when they take attacks. A unit with suppression adds one point to its cover, but if you take too much, it'll limit the number of actions that you can take on your turn. Each unit can make two actions on its turn, like moving, attacking, or aiming to improve the chance of making hits, or dodging to try to reduce damage. Of course, as with any tabletop game, there are tons of other rules to remember, but these are the basics to get you going into any game of Legion. We've got my Imperials here, gonna be taking on the dastardly terrorists, uh, or rebels as apparently they like yeah, to call Yeah, rebels! Themselves. I gotta be the rebels, man. Yeah, you got you got a rep, you got a rep. Where are we fighting each other today on this battlefield? We've got the Endor Bunker, we've got a Scrambush that's been set by our uh, rebels here. We've got three Imperial Supply Depots uh, drops here, which are going to be our objectives, whichever of us has the most uh, control of those by the end of the game, we'll be the winner. Uh, five rounds to win it all. The bunker needs to get destroyed. The rebels have another Death Star to blow up, so uh, it's the only thing standing in their way. Shall Absolutely. we get to it? Let's do it. Best of luck, you dastardly. Good luck, Good luck to you. Terrorist scum. Let's do this thing. Imperial dog. Justin's rebels are led up by Leia Organa and Han Solo, and backed up by Chewbacca himself, one squad of rebel troopers with a heavy Z6 for Peter, and one commando strike team. On the Imperial side of things, I've got a commander leading up my squad, along with two six-man squads of stormtroopers with a DLT-19 heavy weapons, along with my Imperial Special Forces operative Iden Versio, and a squad of Imperial speeder bikes. Bringing Star Wars Legion to the channel is something I've wanted to do for a long time now, and it came down to a vote from our Patreon and YouTube channel members. And this battle report would not have been possible without the support of our amazing members. If you want to help us expand the content here on the channel, just like this Star Wars Legion battle report, then consider following the links in the description to our Patreon or YouTube membership pages. With our units deployed, it's time for some pre-game shenanigans. On my side, Iden Versio gains the infiltrate rules. I'm gonna put Iden right over here, uh, just in case any of these rebels want to get squirrely for this closest uh, objective. Justin's commando strike team also gets a free pre-game move, so he scoots them up behind a tree to gain some light cover. Uh, while they are in light cover, they gain the low profile perk, which boosts them up to heavy cover, actually. This is true. So I'm gonna move them right off the hop behind that tree. Okay, sneaky snipers. All right. Let's do this thing, command cards. Command cards, we lay them. Okay, let's do it. Hiya. Coordinated fire. So I get to activate three units, but because of your sabotage communications, you only get to act activate two. Justin issues an order to his sniper commando team while I give tokens to both of my stormtrooper units. Uh, and you get to go first because you have lower pips. Uh, so who's it gonna be? Uh, well, I'm going to activate my sniper boys. Absolutely. And they're going to take a pot shot at your operative here. I didn't know. And I won't put the token down, but they're going to aim. Oh my god. Oh, good thing you got good that aim token. Oh. Units with an aim token get to reroll up to two dice from their pool when making an attack. And with no hits on the dice, Justin spends the token to reroll two of them. I'm going to go with black. Yeah. Reroll those two. 
I get okay. the even those high-velocity snipers have a hard time getting through Aiden's cover, and while she takes no damage, she does get a suppression token. I'm going to activate this group of stormtroopers, because yes. I kind of want to get them out of the way of uh, my speeder bikes, so I'm just going to activate them. My Stormin Normans, got the DLT-19 there, and then they're going to take a range 3 shot. Alpha Squad! Okay, that's a that's a decent that's a decent hit. Uh, so two of those are going to get uh, negated outright because of your heavy cover. Uh, so then the one crit. Uh, so you're going to get one uh, roll me one defense. Some units can get a bonus when making attacks or defense rolls by converting surge results, just like these rebel commandos who convert surges to blocks. And I need a symbol. You need a symbol. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, there you go. My uh, trooper spotter gets new. Okay, and uh, now I draw from my pile for activation, correct? Correct. Okay, let's go. Justin draws one of his commander tokens and decides to activate Princess Leia. So Leia is going to move up from the back and take charge uh, to rally the troops. She has a, uh, an ability called Take Cover, rank two. So anyone within range one, um, any trooper, gains a dodge token. Oh, nice. This unit is gonna gain a dodge token. Nice. Uh, and she moved one, so that those were her two actions. Uh, I'm going to go for a random draw because I would like to get my speeder bikes moving. And I got, uh, okay, my commander. Yeah, she's got an ability called Spotter. Uh, so she's going to give one aim token to the speeder bikes. Uh, and then with her second action, she's just gonna move just to get within just a little bit closer to the Stormies. Not her full movement, uh, but that's uh, that's about it. Back to you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pull at random and I get a trooper token, which uh -huh. is actually what I was hoping for. Boom. And these guys are going to just move up, rally on one another, and now they're there with Leia, so that's good. And then they shoot within three. Correct. I am shooting into heavy cover though, so. You are, but you're gonna have a mountain of dice you're gonna be throwing uh, in in this five black and what, six white? I'll take you in hell. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, no, nobody converts on surge. But that's yes. pretty good, man. That's what, that's six hits, three crits, and three standard. Okay, so I cancel two. Uh, because of my heavy cover. Yes. Uh, and then I have to make four saves. That's not great. Like this could wipe almost the entire squad in one go. Uh, I've got some decent armor. I don't surge defense. You need to make so four saves. I need to make as many as I can. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I make, I make three. Uh, little stormies there, uh, save the day. So I'm just gonna remove one of my standard troopers. Back to my side. Uh, and I'm going to again do a random order draw because I'm looking for those speeders, which I did not get. Aiden, Aiden Versio. Um, let's see if Aiden gets rid of her suppression. She does. The odds are ever in the Empire's favor. Od odds are in the Empire's favor, so she's gonna remove that, which is good. I'm gonna activate her quick thinking ability, uh, which gives her an aim and a dodge, but it takes up an action. Uh, and then I'm going to fire with her uh, TL-50 repeater. Try to get my sniper. I, I do, because I want to punch through that heavy cover that you've got. So. <laughs> Ugh. Oof. Uh, okay, does she convert? She converts surges to hits. Oh, so my that's God. That's handy. Well, he's done then. Well. There's no way well, I can. Well, so I, can, I convert these two, and then they immediately go away um, because of the heavy cover. But I do have, I did take an aim token. So I'm gonna re-roll two of those and fish for nothing. So there you go. Uh, so it's actually only uh, two two saves uh, for your uh, rebel rebel trooper there. The odds are not looking good. Yikes! Uh, so two weird. two white. So come on. There, there's a good chance. Well, come not on, a good on, chance. On, come on, come on. Nothing. Oh, gone. she gone. Needed a miracle. The snipers oh, are gone. No. First first line sniper first line trooper. defense is in is in trouble. Let's yeah. Get Chewie in the fight. Chewie just saw the snipers go down, Yep. and he's making a bull rush for this objective. Chewie's got some light cover, he's controlling the objective currently, um, so yeah, you're the uh, you're the first one on the board at, at the moment. Um, but it's uh, back to moi and now. those speeder bikes are gonna be a thing. Yeah, they are gonna be a thing. Well, I know I can activate them now. 
Um, or I could go with my troopers. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna save them now that I know that they're up. I wanted them earlier. So I'm gonna activate my troopers. God also hates a coward. So I'm gonna double move. Whole wall of white move in here. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of stormtroopers. This feels, this feels very uh, movie accurate at yeah. the moment. Uh, my last unit is Han. Um, yep. That I can activate. Uh, he and Chewie, have a special ability called Teamwork Han Solo. While you are at range one to two of Han Solo, when you or Han gains an aim or dodge token, the other one gains one as well. Oh, that's pretty handy. So uh, it would be in my best interest to keep those guys together, I'm thinking. Definitely. And Han is going to run right up on, on Chewie. Nice. Now, Han actually, uh, you get a, uh, a nice little benefit from that too, because Han, Gets, uh, he's got steady, so he gets to move and shoot for free. So I think you're now within range two. He's got pierce two. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, take this, you blasted <laughs> imperial <laughs> dog. There you go. Ooh, not bad, okay. Uh, I take the hit, but it's actually ID 10 that takes the hit, my seeker droid. So he gets <laughs> smashed down. <laughs> Takes, takes ID 10 uh, down. I got um, the bucket of bolts instead. Un unfortunately. And last up for round one is the speeder bikes. They get a free compulsory move, meaning that they can speed up the battlefield really fast. So I'm gonna zoom them up once more. Uh, they got their aim token from uh, the commander there, at her activation. So they're just gonna take a shot at, um, take a shot at Chewy. So many. Oh my God, that's not good. Um, I do have an aim token, thankfully. So I'm gonna reroll this black. Get an extra one into the pool. So However, I, have, I have light cover, correct? Yeah, light, light cover. So one of those is gonna go. He's got, he's got a few hit points. And he gets, he gets better the angrier he gets. Yeah, he kind of hulks out at a certain point. Come on, ah, nothing. Okay, he takes two hits and a suppression. Command cards, you ready? Round two, fight. Huh. I got standing orders, four pips. Uh, coordinated bombard. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is the one I was afraid of. At the end of Leia Organa's activation, she may perform up to three attacks, attacks against different enemy units within four range of her. Oof. Uh, she can attack with two red dice. I'm gonna give an order token to my commander uh, right off the top. Uh, then everybody else will be in the pool. Justin starts off Leia's activation by giving a dodge token to himself and using one of her special abilities to give another dodge token to the rebel troopers. Oh, nice, that's handy too. Uh, the troopers have the nimble special rule, so when they spend a dodge token to cancel an attack, they just get another free one. The orbital bombardment devastates my stormtroopers, taking three of them out of the game and adding tons of suppression. Thankfully, the speeder bikes got away unharmed. I'm going to go from the pool just to see what happens off the top. Look, at, hoping for troopers actually. No, I got uh, Iden. Aiden again uses her quick thinking ability to give herself an aim and a dodge token and sets her sights on Han Solo, unloading with her blaster. She gets a couple of good hits, but because of Han's special rules, he gets to re-roll his defense dice, so only one damage and one suppression go through. I have to draw at random. It's my troopers. Oh, okay. Which is not bad. The rebels take aim and unload on the stormtroopers out in the open, taking two of them out of the game. I've lost more than a full squad's worth of troopers uh, now at this stage, and they are going to gain a suppression token. Uh, as well. Gonna activate uh, my commander. Then I'm going to use her inspire uh, after, oh, after I rally, remove suppression from up to two units. So all those guys are unsuppressed. These guys are down to one. Spotter to give an aim token to my not almost dead unit. I'm gonna move her over there to stay within cover. Justin takes a random draw from his order pool and gets a commander token. So he activates Han Solo. Han shakes off his suppression and then spends his first action to give himself an aim token. But because of his teamwork ability, Chewbacca also gets an aim token for free. Yeah, he's gonna move up behind these boxes. Smart. To gain even more cover. Yeah, so technically he's got heavy cover now. And then gets a moving shot at two units because of his steady and gunslinger abilities. The shots hit home, dealing one hit point and suppression token to Aiden and damaging one of the speeder bikes. So there you go. Okay, I've got some suppression spread around the board now. My guys are, my numbers have dwindled uh, all of a sudden after that bombardment, but it's back to my go. Uh, I'm only left with order pool now, so let's see what I get. Group of troopers, troop of groupers. Super grouper. I'm gonna try to rally for my suppression. They are no longer suppressed. Uh, so I'm gonna get two actions. I don't like what these guys are gonna do. 
because it's probably not going to be great. So I'm going to do some shots into them, actually. Okay. The stormtroopers aim and fire, managing to get one shot through cover, but Justin spends his dodge token to cancel the hit. And since they're nimble... They spend it... And get it back. And get it right back. Okay, thank Rebel God. Troopers. Rebel scum, man. Rebel scum. Move, so I'm just going to move them just once up here. Just on the other side of the barricade, because that's about as far as they can go to about there. Not to show my hand too much. Sure. Chewbacca, since he grew up on the uh, forest planet of Kashyyyk, so he has an ability called scale. So if I wanted to get over that barricade and get into f you up distance. You could. I could super easy. But I think I've decided it's best with Chewie mm -hmm. take a dodge action. Okay, sure. Which then gives Han a dodge action. Oh, smart. He's gonna turn his mighty bow caster. Oh, yes. On the speeder bikes. Good call. So I get two red and two white. That thing thumps. It does, and you have an aim token, which and would I have an aim token. be pretty handy. Two red and two white on the speeder bikes. Come on, Chewie. Oh, yes. of course you yes. Okay, that's... That bow caster hits on all four dice. <laughs> Uh, so I cancel one for cover right off the bat, uh, and then I got three saves to make. This could take a speeder bike right out. Ooh, yep. Uh, so I'm going to take two more damage, which is going to take... Yeah, he goes spinning out of control, and I'm down to one speeder bike left. Okay, going to be my go next. I've only got a couple units left. It's either going to be the trooper or the speeder bike. It's the troopers. Uh, okay, so they're going to go up there. I think I'm going to just book it. Double move over there? Yeah, I'm going to double move. Uh, I've got I've got control of the objective, and uh, that's about it. I've got light cover. Speeder bike's going last again, so I need to think about whether I want to move now, then do some shit, or if I want to do, do some, some shit, shit then move. and then move. I'm going to take an aim token for my first action. Uh, then I'm going to, yeah, then I'm going to fire into Chewy. Keep on that because he's the most, well, he's the only unit you've got with damage right now. Oh, no, actually, Hans, Hans got one. Hans got one. Hans got one. Okay, so I'm going to take a shot at Chewy with my speed of bike. Okay. I was about to say bike, sir, but it is bike, uh, single. So now they suddenly become far less effective. Uh, and I surge to hit. So that's going to be uh, two hits, and I've got an aim, which I will spend, and it goes away, and it's useless. Uh, so that's going to be two two hits, but dodge goes away. Uh, yeah, and you've got light cover. Yes. So you cancel them both. The speeder bike finishes off his turn with a compulsory move, which leads us into round three. Okay, round three. Fight! Yeah. Push. Two oh, pushes. It Doom comes push. down to a 50-50 roll. Yes, it does. Okay, so roll a red uh, defense die, and if you get paint, uh, it's your go. Okay, you get to go first. Two units uh, each get activation, uh, get orders. It's gonna be Chewy. Okay. And it's gonna be my troopers. Okay, first I'm gonna go with these ones over there. I'm gonna go with the speeder bikes this time because I might want to, uh, I might want to get rid of them depending on what happens here. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, that's it. You get to go first. What you doing? Troopers onto the speeder bikes that's coming their way. Oh, onto the speeder bike, okay. Yes. Oh, so that's two crits and four hits. Okay, three to stay alive. The odds are not great. No, oh, he's toast. And that sucks too, because he was one of my order tokens. So yeah, I kind of goofed up on that one. Uh, so I'm going to take those troopers there. I'm going to move them once. Uh, and then with their second action. Who are you going to shoot at? Yeah, it's a good question. I'm definitely going to shoot. Um, yeah, I would. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to put some uh, damage and some more suppression uh, really on Chewbacca. I'm I'm hoping to maybe suppress him a little bit. Yeah, uh, he's not under any cover. Yeah, he's right he's now. in he's in good shape there. So and I don't know how long I'm gonna have these guys in good shape. So taking the shot into Chewie. Down. One crit. Oh God, one crit. Come on, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so he takes another damage. So oh, he's up to. Three damage. Now, I'm, I'm not too worried about that because Chewie starts to get some fun stuff at four damage. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. He can basically never be suppressed after he takes four damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lucky Ray! Yeah, 100%. 
So or something like I'm that. Not but too, I'm not too worried about him taking any more damage. Yeah, it's it's the suppression that I was hoping to do there to maybe, maybe, maybe if I get lucky, uh, reduce his number of actions. But uh, we'll see, because that is all they can do. I'm currently holding the scoreboard uh, in the middle of the game, but uh, that could change at any moment. Chewie retaliates by moving once and taking a shot at the troopers, but he whiffs on the roll, and because of the cover, no damage goes through. My Imperial officer activates next out of the order pool and moves once to get some heavy cover, then removes some suppression from the stormtroopers before taking a shot at Chewie, but deals no damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Han. Mm -hmm. Han can move and shoot for free, and he gets to shoot at two different targets. So Justin puts a ton of damage through on my stormtroopers, taking the squad down to just one unit and taking my commander down to two of her four health, plus a healthy cropping of suppression tokens. I'm gonna make a risky play. I'm going to make you double think moving into the open into the middle of the field. I'm gonna just gonna double move. Jockey myself up here. This may backfire horribly, but now technically I have control of this objective. I have sneakily snuck at the moment. And there is a very good chance <laughs> this will not hold true for much longer. I have all three uh, objectives on the board. Um, I'm suppressed AF uh, and I'm like, Hanging on death's door, but I still have one more unit. I think you still have Leia. I have Leia. Okay. I yep. have Leia Organa Solo. Um, or actually, at this point on Endor, they're not uh, married yet. No, so. they're, they're only kind of, she's only kind of half also, kissing her brother for a bit. In a galaxy far, far away, why are they still taking each other's last name? Like, you'd think they'd have a different, Do like, they, Leia, she's a princess and he's just a fucking scout. That's true. And I mean, technically she's Leia Skywalker Organa Solo, but maybe yeah, what are we even doing Amidala, here? throw it in there, why not? Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah. Leia uses her Inspire ability to strip all of the suppression tokens off of Chewbacca, so there was all my hard work for nothing. She then uses her actions to move and shoot at Aiden, dealing one more hit of damage because of her weapon's pierce ability. Right, row, we're getting we're getting close to Suppression Town uh, with Aiden there, but I'm, I'm hoping she's gonna be able to hang tough. Rounding out the turn, my last Stormtroopers put some shots into the Rebel soldiers in hopes of doing some damage and suppression, and managed to squeak by the cover, taking one of them out of the game. Uh, one trooper down. No, no. And one suppression on them. Yeah, wait till Leia comes around. Yeah, exactly. For for for, <laughs> for now, uh, and that's going to be the end of the round. Things have swung very interestingly. Five models on the board currently to your many, uh, but I but I've got the points. So we'll see. It's anyone's game. I have a feeling. Oh, I have a feeling God. I'm in trouble. Let's uh let's get into the next round. Alrighty, round four could be the last one. We'll see. Ooh, okay. Assault. I got assault and you've got... Brains and brawn. Oh. When Leia Organa is performing a ranged attack, if Chewbacca is not engaged and has line of sight and is in the same range, then he attacks too. Oh, nice. He gets to add, he gets to add an attack to her. Leia, for her first action, is going to take an aim mm -hmm. and say, God, please let this work. Uh, and she's gonna take a fucking shot. Oh yeah, plus Chewbacca's bullshit. Plus Chewbacca's bullshit. The combined barrage from Leia and Chewbacca takes Aiden down to just one hit point remaining. She is in rough shape. Well, I have a feeling that this stormtrooper is not long for this world. He's probably not. I'm gonna take a shot at Leia, cause she's out in the open. She is. Um, it's kinda useless, but so is everything else. Against all odds, the lone stormtrooper manages to get one damage and suppression through on Leia. Uh, he gets no second action because he's suppressed, so he's a uh, fucking goof in the middle of the field. Here go. I got troopers. Okay. Justin's rebels move out into the open and prepare to unload on the lone stormtrooper. Yeah, I want that stormtrooper dead. I want his fucking family dead. <laughs> I want his womp rat dead. TK419, hold strong. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, TK. Ah! Oh, you're down. And unfortunately, that's gonna swap the marker. Okay, so there you go. It's now two to one with a very limited number of Imperial officer and or units on the board. Okay, Aiden's almost dead. I might as well do something with her while I can. Uh, I'm going to activate Aiden. I'm going to try to rally her suppressions. I get rid of one. So she does get her two activations. That is huge. Um, so with that, I'm going to nimble up. Quick, uh, quick thinking. Cause she's all I've got, <laughs> yep. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, blast. Blast him. 
Aiden unloads a devastating shot on the rebel troopers, taking four of them out of the play. The leader and the heavy gunner survive. Yeah, smart. Yeah, keep keep that heavy gunner because uh, yeah, the more more dice equals usually better. Chewie is going to turn around. Uh oh. Charge back in the other direction. He's gonna rip her arms off <laughs> and beat her to death with them. Sounds about right. So it's just four but, red. Yeah. That's. Two crit. Oh, and he converts on a surge to a uh, to a crit. Yeah, he converts to crits. So that sucks. That's four. I need to make every single one of these, and that's not great. Um, yeah. Uh, there's. There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, she gone. Take her out. Well then, Chewbacca has effectively uh, taken Iden out of the game, uh, and pretty much uh, most of my other units as well. In a desperate play, my last Stormtrooper units open fire on the Rebel Troopers and manage to take out the Z6 repeater, but the leader stays alive and so does the squad. Damn. But that's but that's it, that's all. Uh, and then they do have a second action and just for shits and giggles, I'll stand by. Okay. Seeing a chance for the win, Justin activates Han Solo and makes a move on my lone group of Stormtroopers. They manage to get off a standby shot, but it's no use as Han's double move and shoot rules allow him to blow through the squad with ease. Rebel control! Well, that's the end of round four. I have it, I have exactly one unit left, Gresham being the better part of Valor. Uh, she's going to uh, she's going to run away uh, and seek some refuge on the uh, Death Star 2, and we all know how well that's going to work out. Uh, both narratively and cinematically, um, it's played out uh, as it should with a Rebel victory. Good game. Good game. Good game. Oh, Rebels! Rebels! Thanks for watching our first Star Wars Legion Battle Report here on the channel. We had a ton of fun playing this game system and a lot of fun putting this video together. If you enjoyed what you see, then hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. And if you want to help us make more videos more often just like this one, then consider joining our Patreon or YouTube membership programs. You get all kinds of kickbacks like entries into giveaways, and it expands the type of content that you get to watch here on the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, and from a galaxy far, far away, stay tuned because WGNR will be back.